officials for us. I don't know where he got it from. Although he's very clever, he said something about is it intermediary or he was using a word like interim. All right? But also, having said that, his ruling is also very mischievous. Because if you read Wetangula's uh, ruling yesterday, and we are going to give you copies, on the section where he purportedly recognized a Jubilee as a parliamentary party, he very clearly says that the status of the majority and the minority parties, nothing has changed. And if you indulge me, I'll just read to you that relevant portion. Eh? And this is communication from the speaker yesterday. It is number 30, the media, I'm sure you have this. Number 30, subsection 2. And he said, and I want you to listen to me very, very carefully, what to your media. He said that to give effect the provisions of Article 36 of the Constitution on freedom of association and Article 38 of the political rights which confer upon each member of the House the right to determine which entities they wish to be associated with and the right to make political choices, the Jubilee Party is hereby recognized as a parliamentary party within the meaning of standing order 20A. This is the operative word, sentence. This recognition does not in any way elevate it to or affect the status given to the majority party and the minority party by the constitution and the standing orders. To me, I want to happen. We always had the numbers to be called a parliamentary party. But the new constitution, you either belong to the majority party or the minority party. Either by being part of the majority Azimio coalition or the Kenya Kwanza minority coalition. By the way, they were the minority. When this election was finished, Azimio had more numbers until they went poaching. Metangula still manipulated that in that ruling when he declared them the majority party. But that's water under the bridge. What we're having in the parliament. And that is why, even if you're an independent, you choose either to sit with the Azimio or you sit with Kenya Kwanza. Na kwa hivyo, na our minority whip is here today. Those people who were given positions in committees in parliament from Jubilee were given by Azimio coalition. Tuko pamoja. Forthwith, we are going to ask our deputy whip waongea the minority whip na minority leader na umetumwa na chama you would whip all those people from the committees sawa sawa watolewe ama wasitolewe wakitaka si wanasema wanataka kufanya na Kenya Kwanza waende wakapewe viti na nani Kenya Kwanza sasa ile viti Kenya Kwanza imepatia watu yao wawagawie hawa hii yetu tutajaza na our own people. So that is a point number one you guys need to understand. We, the NEC, have decided to send our Azimio deputy minority whip to the whip and the minority leader. To the whip from committees or members of parliament under the Jubilee party who have deserted the Azimio Coalition. Tuko pamoja hapo. Mumekubali hiyo hata nyinyi. Number two. Tukitoka hapo kwa hiyo. The minute we have a clear determination by the court. 
Mtu kama Sabina Chege is a nominated member of parliament, ndio? Once we are properly in office by the court, the first agenda business will be to denominate Sabina Chege na Kanini Kega. Hata Kanini hiyo iala alitumwa na Jubilee. You had to come from the party to go to be voted for by the and you go to represent the interests of your coalition side. So you cannot be whipping for Jubilee when you are with Kenya Kwanza. So and I want this to be very very clear and we are not wasting time and we are not mincing words. Na sisi sahi I am the acting chairman of this party. Because chairman amepewa kazi Naruto. Na kwa dinti ya kupewa hiyo kazi amesisi kuwa ofisho ya nini? Ya chama. Na mnafikiria Ruto ni mjinga. Akiwapatia kazi si alijua. Si alijua hiyo sheria. Hawa anawamaliza. Nyinyi sitaki <laughs> kusema mengine ambayo labda yani ita natulisema leo sio siku ya makasiriko. Ya mwisho. Nimeongea vile waliipa pesa yetu, nimewaambia vile tunatoa kanini na Sabina, nimewaambia vile tunawa whip from parliament na hiyo IDRC, hiyo uh, dispute resolution team which is in bed with them. We are going to deal with them. Na registra pia tumempeleka kotini. We have taken her to court and the cases are coming up. Mombasa kuna watu wameweka makesi nakuru kuna watu wameweka makesi hapa Nairobi tuko na makesi kama ina ama tano but so far all the orders that have come from the court have been in our favor and that is why they are no longer calling themselves kama kanini hajiite secretary general enemo alienda kirembe akasema he is a director of election na hata ukiangalia hiyo statement yao ya jana hakusaini na before alikuwa na sign acting sector general si ndio kama ni mwanaume aite kitu kama hii akijiita hiyo contempt of court are we clear so let us congratulate the member for embakasi west even as we celebrate the birthday of the party leader that faction nimewasomea wale watu wametoka kwa hivyo hawana secretary general hawana party leader hawana vice chair hawana those two deputy party leaders ni hawana chair even si ameenda sasa wanajiita nini ladies and gentlemen today is a happy day to congratulate our party leader and to congratulate our newest kuja 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 tu mpigia makofi na huyu si ya jubili ni ya azimio tumeelewana there's a big difference between the party whip and the azimio whip there is no office for sabina chege in parliament she has no government car she has no parks tumeelewana na kama wana eh, wetangula ni mwanaume ampatie gk ya serikali tuone kama yeye ni mwanaume ampatie ofisi ya whip let me tell you huyu ndiye atakuwa akiongea on behalf of azimio like the deputy party whip of the azimio coalition na hata hizo kamiti wanachaguliwa na azimio huyu akipeana majina inaenda kwa junet wanaongea na eh, leader wa minority wandai hiyo ndiyo inaenda kwa speaker na ndiyo official hii yao ebu wajaribu kupeana majina labda ipeane na ichongwa eh tumeelewana thank you thank you thank you salimia hii watu alafu uite sg sawa sawa